Yes, the fans didn't know uh, what was happening here. Of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on the situation out here. Uh, for now, we're live with Davis. Jeff Mark is again. Allowed to play around with our democracy. Boom, boom, boom. They lobby our Congress to deregulate. Homeowners didn't find out until too late. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air boots. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air boots. Oh, hey, hey. oh, oh. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. We don't want your GMOs. The right to know, we're a grassroots coalition of uh, food companies, environmental activists, regular people that want uh, GMOs to be properly labeled. Like the other 50 countries around the world that require mandatory labeling of these foods. Um, back in 1992, GMOs were considered substantially equivalent of other counter crops, like a tomato that's GMO and a regular tomato. They, they feel that it's the same. I do not feel that it's the same when you're, you're going in the World Health Organization definition of a genetically modified organism is when you alter the genes um, in an unnatural way. So it would never occur in nature. So I'm here with labelgmos.org and we really, really need everybody's help to go to labelgmos.org and to sign up to volunteer. That's not gonna commit you to 50 hours a week. That's gonna get you in touch with your local organizer from your county and they're going to let you know where the trainings are and the meetings are. Um, the ballot initiative process is um, you have to fill out the forms very correctly so that they count. We need 850,000 signatures. We only have about six weeks left. So we need everybody here to go to labelgmos.org, sign up to be a volunteer, and then take these uh, ballot initiatives to your church, to your job, to your school. To your social organization and get a couple signatures here and there. This is really grassroots. This is our opportunity. I personally lived in Washington and tried to get our Congress members and our elected officials to listen to us. Well, guess what? They're bought out by Monsanto and these large corporations. When you have a revolving door between the governmental agencies that are supposed to regulate these foods and then you have the previous vice president or head attorney on um, the second in charge of that agency, hello, I mean, we all know that. It's really simple. They're not going to look out for our best interests. So we're going to take this grassroots campaign, and that's the special thing about ballot initiatives. Once we get the needed signatures, this will be placed on the ballot in November, and then we can vote on it in California. And the only way that they can overturn this is through another ballot initiative. So it's really, really important. I know you guys all have love in your heart for a free society and that's why you're here today in the rain um, to, to let Monsanto kn to know that we want them out. So use that energy and help us gather the needed signatures so that we actually have an option of voting on this in November. It's really, really important. So labelgmos.org, sign up to be a volunteer. An hour a week, two hours a week, it doesn't take that much time. I bring it everywhere I go now. When I'm pumping gas and I'm waiting in line, I talk to the person next to me. Hey, do you know what a GMO is? Can you just help us get it on the ballot? And a little thing when people are like, I don't want to sign, I don't sign anything. I sign an affidavit saying that I will not collect your name for marketing purposes. So what I do for people, I had a guy that said, I like GMOs. And I said, great, now you can locate them because they'll be labeled and I can locate them and avoid them. So there's, you just gotta get some. I've got a website for our county, uh, labeled GMO Shasta, and I have all the talking points on there, all the rebuttals. It just takes a minute to get well versed in it, and then you really can come back. What's the problem? Don't we live in a free society? Don't we have a right to know what we're putting in our bodies? I find that to be the most intimate act that I do on a daily basis. We all do this thing, and this is the common thread that'll bind us, and we can weave that 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 blanket that is the humans. So um, I love all of you and I appreciate it. And please like us on Facebook, spread it, network it, send it out there.
And then he he before that he was the lead attorney with Monsanto. So then he goes to he was lead attorney in the eighties with Monsanto. Then he goes to the FDA and he's with the FDA and he regulates these foods. And then he leaves Monsanto and he's the vice president of Monsanto in the later nineties. And guess where he's at today? He's our food safety czar under the Obama administration. Yes. So if you just follow the trail, you'll see, oh God, what a great uh, thing. Why would you say, why would anything ever get started? And that's why I'm here as a volunteer with a citizen's ballot initiative, because I see that our elected officials, are their pockets are lined with these companies, so how will they ever listen to us? And when 80 to 95% of the U.S. consumers, a whole spectrum of people, want these foods labeled for the last 20 years, and yet year after year, they do, they percentage like puts bills mm -hmm. every year and they get shot down i drove to sacramento and met with uh, my representative um, about the salmon being labeled but he, he couldn't spend 30 seconds with me you know so that's why i'm here doing this because um i see that there's we have to take back our government we have to be active citizens it's not even like anyone's trying to get anything banned to no and, that, and see that and it speaks volumes to me that they're fighting it so much why aren't you proud in your product are you not proud of your product this is what you do are you not proud why are you trying to hold it back from consumers and so you're you volunteer and you're coming you came down from shasta i came from shasta county i'm a volunteer to um, i help organize people in my county to collect signatures properly because you have to be very specific about the California ballot initiative process. Right. So I made a website. It's called uh, Label GMOs Shasta. <coughs> you can Google it. It's a Google site. I don't know the exact site, but if you type in that, you can find it. It's the first one that comes up. So yeah, I'm, I'm, lab I'm organizing people in my county, uh, just trying to get people aware. And the thing is, it's grassroots. We need everybody to get trained and take one signature petition thing. They don't have to stand in front of grocery stores like I do. They can just go to their daycare, to their rotary club, to their... Is there a number you got to get to on the signature? 850,000 by April 22nd, Earth Day, throughout the state. And then it'll be on the ballot. And um, it has been projected that Monsanto and the large biotech companies are planning to spend $65 million in opposition of this labor campaign. And they've already created a committee. I don't know the exact name, but it's the committee for the costly cost of labeling. It's ridiculous. Um, companies change their labels all the time. Um, it's a lot of great, a lot of wa a lot of washing that, and trying to confuse consumers. And and it's, another thing is, when I'm out there talking to people, I'm not trying to tell you if you if GMOs are right or wrong. Personally, at this moment, I just want to get it on the ballot so that we have an option to choose. That's where I'm at. Like, what's the problem with having a choice? Don't we live in a free, democratic society? to do that throughout the state, and then that'll get the, uh, it's called the, uh, the Genetically Engineered Food Act, and that would mean that any food, uh, if it passes, you know, if we get it on the ballot, and, and then if it passes, then all foods starting in January of 2014 will be labeled if they contain GMOs, and it'll be a very small little label, just like in Sierra, To regulate these, these foods, and when you have a revolving door between the state and the So that's why I'm involved with this, trying to get labeling. Hi, have you signed the ballot initiative? Okay, wonderful. It just came out like three weeks ago, though. Okay. Yeah, I have gotten new people. Well, people just don't know about it, and that's why I'm trying to get people to go to labelgmos.org and sign up to be a volunteer. It doesn't mean you have to stop your life. It just means that you get trained on how to properly collect signatures. So everybody, like in our county, we have a restaurant that has a table set up, and the employees have been trained, and there's petitions there. I went ahead and set it up at my chiropractor's office, trained him. So to kind of connect in the circuits that we already have going mm -hmm. of people that are aware and want to keep the table. Mm -hmm. What gives me hope is that they've been labeling for 12 years in Europe 
and now less than 5% of cropland in Europe is used to grow GMOs mm -hmm. because we're hitting it where, they're, where the bottom line is yep. for them, the yep. money. Yep. So if you're a farmer and you grow GMOs, but then you can't move your product, mm -hmm. the next year you're going to make a different decision. And maybe yeah. you'll even go organic because that's what's moving. Yeah. 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 So that's my whole theory is that we can push them out of the marketplace. Yeah. Well, unfortunately in Europe, organic is even more expensive than here. And so far as yeah. I know, city, I mean, countries like Germany have never allowed it. So I don't know with the EU, they well, there was a, a policy. Europe had a moratorium for five years oh, on five GMOs. Years. And oh. then what they did, they said, fine, you're going to give us GMOs? We want them labeled. And what companies like Kraft did, which is the second largest producer of food in the world, they said, okay, we're just going to send you non-GMOs. So these, some, these U.S. companies are sending foods that can supposedly do not contain GMOs to Europe um, because the consumers have demanded it there, but not here. So that's I think that's a good push. Is uh, if you look some recent products like Lay's potato chips have stated have started to put labels saying some of them, not all their brands or their chips saying non-GMO. So we just have to turn the marketplace, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. We gotta and do it all. We gotta do we it. We gotta all. hit every aspect <laughs> yeah. of it. So you're saying that the, the five year moratorium is up. Oh it right? was. It was up in like two thousand and one or two. Okay. And but since then, uh, very, very little it has to be labeled and very little is is selling because it's people don't want it. Is but that's right? the, that's the key of it. Yeah. Because it's been labeled, yeah. people have a more of an ability to really vote with their dollars. Yeah. And then what that has done created the suppliers to be like, well, our products aren't moving. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about business, mm -hmm. it's about you got to move your product. You this is, I, I love I love the labeling the labeling cause. It's a, it's it's such a great like introduction to all of this craziness. And it's like the most reasonable thing you could possibly ask for. It's, it's like the most reasonable, and that's the thing. I feel it's like, like informed consent. We're just asking for informed consent, you know? Like, <laughs> that's the thing. I feel like so many people, and this is how I woke up, mm. are overwhelmed. And when you start telling them stuff, it's yeah, like that yeah, whole yeah, matrix yeah. thing. I want to yeah. take the other pill. I don't yeah, want to yeah. know, man. Exactly. It's too much to believe. That's too painful. It yeah. is. Like I people like you and me. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be allowed to play around with our hair loose? Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be allowed to play around with our hair loose? Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be allowed to play around with our hair loose?